Many are discussing the challenges faced by major companies in creating reliable EV trucks that truly address our needs. However, Canoe is challenging the norm. While many EV manufacturers focus on flashy yet impractical features with high price tags, Canoe stands out as the underdog, offering a truck that caters to everyone's needs. Today, we are going to discuss the Canoe electric pickup truck. Founded in 2017, Canoe aims to deliver practical EVs and their pickup model exemplifies this vision. Unlike other companies, Canoe prioritizes user practicality. They emphasize customization, allowing users to have exactly what they need in their trucks. The Canoe pickup, considered a game changer, has even caught Tesla's attention. Canoe's foundation in 2017 was driven by a commitment to create genuinely practical EVs. While this claim is not new in the industry, Canoe distinguishes itself by delivering on its promise. The key to practicality, according to Canoe, lies in meeting the diverse needs of users. If a vehicle doesn't accommodate users' preferences and requirements, it fails the practicality test. Canoe strives to address this by offering unprecedented customization options. One major concern with EVs is their limited mileage due to battery capacity. Canoe tackles this issue head-on by providing a pickup that can cover 500 miles on a single charge. Furthermore, they offer two charging options, a standard 7-kilowatt home charger and a 150-kilowatt fast charging station, addressing the inconvenience associated with EV charging. To showcase the robustness of their electric pickup, Canoe has collaborated with the U.S. Army for a modified version designed for the light tactical vehicle. This vehicle boasts features like carbon Kevlar for maximum protection, a lifted suspension for versatile terrain handling, and all-terrain tires for unstoppable performance. In a strategic move, Canoe has partnered with Tesla, acknowledging the latter's market leadership. This collaboration allows Canoe drivers exclusive access to Tesla's supercharger stations, potentially transforming the charging experience for Canoe owners nationwide. This partnership with Tesla represents just the beginning of Canoe's ambitious plans, indicating a potential shift in the electric vehicle landscape. The convenience of utilizing Tesla's extensive supercharger network is only the tip of the iceberg in this transformative collaboration. While our attention was fixed on industry giants like Ford, Chevrolet, and even Tesla with its Cybertruck, Canoe had a hidden strategy waiting for the opportune moment. Although we don't have all the details yet, the rear-wheel drive model boasts approximately 300 horsepower. While it may not top the charts in sheer power, it delivers ample strength to meet everyday needs and fuel thrilling adventures. Rest assured, you won't find it lacking. For those seeking more, the truck can generate an impressive 600 horsepower and 550 pound-feet of torque with the dual-motor all-wheel drive configuration. It represents a futuristic approach, and the only concern might be its long-term durability, given Canoe's relative newness to the market. However, any durability worries are quickly dispelled as Canoe has already secured orders from prominent fleet customers like Walmart, NASA, Zeba, and Kingbee. The fact that these reputable entities share the same preferences as consumers underscores the truck's reliability. Notably, the U.S. Army has also chosen Canoe for their needs, emphasizing the vehicle's durability and capability. Considering the market landscape, brand reputation plays a significant role in the variety of options and competition available. Even though Canoe is a newcomer, its strategic partnerships and endorsements from esteemed organizations suggest a promising trajectory in the pickup truck market. Imagine considering the new Maverick, but now picture it as an entirely new brand. Yes. It's a Ford truck, and Ford has a rich history in truck manufacturing, predating many other brands. However, despite their extensive experience, Ford still makes significant mistakes that might be less forgivable if they were a fledgling brand. Canoe seems to recognize this, evident in their numerous contracts and major partnerships with established companies. This strategic approach aims to build Canoe's brand identity, and their pickup truck plays a crucial role in achieving that goal. While it's acknowledged that the Canoe pickup isn't flawless, the emphasis is on it being a superior choice compared to other trucks in the market. The need to discuss a major issue arises shortly, but before that, it's essential to establish how the Canoe pickup stacks up against its competition. Directly Challenging Top Contenders Canoe's truck competes not only with other electric trucks, but also traditional gasoline ones. Despite the current practicality of gasoline trucks, 
there's a notable comparison, particularly concerning engine size. For instance, a V8 engine, known for its capability, weighs over 600 pounds, while the canoe truck is under 200 pounds. With 300 horsepower and nearly 300 pounds of torque, the canoe truck offers more space and flexibility, allowing for the integration of two such engines. In contrast to conventional designs seen in trucks like the F-150, Canoe breaks the mold by designing their truck from scratch, prioritizing efficiency in every detail. This innovative approach defies the norm, presenting a future-forward truck. However, it's acknowledged that conventional designs have their merits, as they are familiar, practical, and favored by many companies for valid reasons. Recall when we emphasized Canoe's commitment to practicality. It wasn't mere hype. The Canoe pickup boasts a 4x6-foot bed, extendable to 8 feet, directly competing with the Maverick, despite its shorter wheelbase. Unlike the prevailing minimalistic trend, Canoe's modern truck is designed on a unibody platform, seamlessly integrating the extended cab and the bed. Every component serves a specific purpose, exemplifying their dedication to functionality. Canoe has embraced a fully drive-by-wire and brake-by-wire system, streamlining it by shedding 35% of parts. By eliminating steering columns, shock towers, and struts, they've achieved a spacious interior akin to a small pickup with the payload of a full-size truck. The concept is forward-thinking, designed not just for the initial owner, but also considering future owners. The focus on modularity allows users to transform the truck into a mobile workbench or equip it with a camper shell for adventures. The expanded space is tailored to accommodate various needs, facilitating on-the-go tool charging with a daily 28-minute charge ensuring continuous operation. Easy accessibility is facilitated by a larger upfront space for personalized seating, and the battery pack can be upgraded, replaced, or repaired as needed. The customizable truck bed includes a sidestep for rooftop access, doubling as a secret compartment. However, one major concern often associated with high-quality, intricately designed vehicles is the price. Canoe addresses this by offering diverse variations to cater to different market segments, with an expected price range of $35,000 to $50,000. This positions it as a competitive option against the Ford F-150 Lightning, despite having superior mileage, extensive customization options, and numerous practical features. Even when compared to the Tesla Cybertruck with a similar price range, opting for the Canoe pickup essentially means acquiring the Swiss Army knife of the truck market. Electric vehicle manufacturer Canoe has revealed its latest model, the American Bulldog electric pickup truck, emphasizing its alignment with the American spirit characterized by resilience and innovation. Following the resolution of a multi-year SEC investigation earlier this year, Canoe is determined to move forward. Despite previous challenges, the struggling EV startup has successfully delivered vehicles to notable entities such as the U.S. Army and NASA and expanded its clientele to include major companies like Walmart. In August, Canoe secured $113 million in combined incentives for its electric vehicle assembly and battery module manufacturing plants in OKC and Pryor. As part of its diverse offerings, Canoe introduced the LDV 190, targeting the Class 3 electric cargo van market. This model shares the multi-purpose platform with the LDV 130, but is equipped with a reinforced suspension to accommodate a higher payload. The American Bulldog is presented as a robust and rugged electric pickup, drawing parallels with the strength and determination of American workers, akin to the advertising style seen in Chevy Silverado or Ford F-150 campaigns. However, despite its appealing features, the likelihood of the American Bulldog hitting the streets remains uncertain. Canoe, similar to many other electric vehicle startups, faces substantial financial challenges. While the company recently began generating revenue through its initial deliveries to the U.S. government, it reported a loss of $161.6 million in the first half of the year with no revenue. The production plans necessitated significant funding, and as of June, Canoe had approximately $5 million in cash and equivalents. The company has expressed concerns about its continued operations due to a persistent lack of funding over the past few years. More insights into Canoe's financial situation are expected when the company reports its third quarter earnings on November 14th. However, if Canoe manages to overcome its financial challenges, it anticipates reaping the benefits of its Made in America strategy.
That's all about today's video. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also, press the bell icon to get notified of our upcoming videos.